Hi guys, welcome to part two of episode 28 of my Pleasant View Let's Play. We are back in Sim State University with Lucy and Alexander, and you might notice that they look a little bit different, and that is because I just went on a crazy default replacement, default hair replacement spree. After doing the, a lot of the clothes, and after my makeover of Lucy yesterday, I realized that the Max's hairs just weren't doing it for me anymore. So I went out and I found default replacements for every single hair hair in the game. I believe I got everyone except for some of the hats, which I don't care about as much. And look how cute Lucy looks with her new hair. Most of these hairs that I have are from Poppet, um, but I did get some other ones in there if I couldn't find a Poppet default replacement. And here's Alexander's new style. I hope all of these work okay. I did a little bit of testing. Like, I don't know if I care for that. Look how choppy that is with like his scalp showing through. I don't love that. So I might figure out what hair that is and change that. So I'm just gonna have to experiment with them and see which ones I like and which ones I wanna change. Lucy's looks good. We just need to change her clothes. I guess I can't do that from that menu. So I'm gonna send her upstairs. Where is her room? Where am I? I'm gonna send her upstairs to change into every day and then we can look at her hair better. And I just wanna look at some of my Dormies here. They look pretty cute, actually. Hers especially. I really like that one. That one's a poppet. And his looks good, too. I like that, too. So hopefully my uh, dormies and townies and stuff will look a lot better now. I don't know how I, how I feel about this 100%. I might change my mind and take them out, especially if I have like a lot of bad hair. But I tried my best to get ones that sort of matched and looked pretty good. This is pretty cute. I like that. Alexander's doesn't look so great, so I might send him to the mirror and change him. And I swear I thought I defaulted that stupid sweater again, but she is still wearing it. At least her hair looks cute, though. Okay, so enough about that. Um, I'm going to keep checking out my dormies to look for any bad hairs that I need to replace. And in the meantime, let's check on Lucy and Alexander and see what they need to be doing. Oh, she looks adorable with that hair. I love that on her. All right, she definitely needs some skill points or she's not gonna pass this semester. She needs creativity and cleaning and cooking, but she has no wants to do any of those things and I don't force my Sims, so We'll just have to cross our fingers that she wants to do some school related things. I'll probably have her, I'll have her go watch a movie to free up some more of her want slots. Alexander, he wants to do his homework and he wants to make the Dean's List. After he gets out of the shower, we will probably start working on his skills. Um, I'll probably have him work on his logic skill first and then body. Lucy rolled the want to be friends with her professor, so I called Professor Erica over for her to hang out with um, and hopefully make friends with her. I think it's easier whenever they come over to make friends with them than it is over the phone. I gotta tell you, Al Alexander's hair is really bothering me. Okay, but the professor is here. I don't know what I just told her to do. Give her a tough handshake. I wanted to look at that hair. I love that. That's a good one, at least. Okay, so I'm going to have her hang out with the professor, oops, for a while and see if we can get them to become friends. Okay, Lucy and prof the professor have finally become friends. I just had them hang out and it didn't take very long at all. That really gives them a lot of social. They have to go to class now, but Lucy rolled the want to get a skill point, thank goodness. So if she gets one more skill point, she should be able to pass. I'll have her get a cleaning. So we'll work on that when she gets back from class. Alexander is going to miss class if he doesn't go. He's been working on his logic, and he does have a high enough logic skill. Now he just needs to work on body when he gets back. 
Well, I couldn't stand Alexander's hair anymore, so I took him to the mirror, and I like this one a lot better. Um, it's kind of the same style. He actually looks a lot more handsome with a little bit of a different haircut. Let's have a look at him. That is so cute. I love the little um, curl on the top, so I'm going to let him keep that hair instead, and I'm going to figure out whatever hair that was that was all buggy and fix it or replace it with something else. But it's getting late. It's like 9.30. He is exhausted. He needs to do his assignment. Maybe I'll see if he can do it really quick before he goes to bed. Oh, it looks like some townies, I mean some dormies are getting in a fight again. Horace and Margie again. Lucy's just sitting here in the dark <laughs> at the, at the uh, oh, her dad's here at the chess table. I don't know what he's doing here, but I'm sure she'll be glad to see him. She always is talking to her family on the phone. She was just on the phone with Kevin a minute ago, her little brother. And he's going to tell his daughter a dirty joke. John, that is highly inappropriate. I want to look at his hair. Okay, what is this, like, blonde streak in it? That bothers me. Like, I can't be happy with that hair now. That's why I didn't want to do these custom hairs. But now I'm changing my mind. It's just so tedious to try to find the ones that are bad and fix them. Anyway, Lucy is really tired. She needs to take a shower and she needs comfort. So I'm probably just going to send her to the shower and send her to bed. And we will work on more of their skills and stuff tomorrow. They have 35 hours until their final exam. <laughs> Alexander's working on his body skill and it is hilarious. Look at him go. It's, I don't know why that's so funny to me, but he's just like jogging in place. I love this song. This is one of my favorite songs on the college rock station. And Lucy's dancing in her nightgown beside him. <laughs> I would be so embarrassed to just run in place right there. He doesn't care. He's just getting after it. <laughs> he, uh, Lucy did get a cleaning skill, so she's definitely going to pass, even if she doesn't get any more skills. Oh, she's doing her homework on her own. I didn't even direct her to do that, so I guess I'll leave her alone and let her do it. Alexander needs two body skill points, so he's just going to continue working out here. <laughs> so funny. And all that working out has paid off for Alexander. He just became fit. He stinks, but he's fit now. All you have to do is run in place in front of the stereo for like three hours and you're fit. If only life worked that way. Lucy has the want to classic dance with Alexander, so I'm trying to make them dance. And somebody said that you don't need music to have them dance, but... I'm not getting the pop-up to have them dance without it. Let's try turning it on. <laughs> now it's there. So, I don't know. Maybe you have a mod or something that makes it so you don't need music because I do need it. And we definitely need to change this to... No, not pop. College rock. She's not going to change it until after they dance. That's so sweet. She's gazing lovingly into his eyes. What else does she want to do? She wants to give him a back rub. So let's stop dancing and change the station, and then you can give him a back rub. Ricky. 
Oh, time to go to class. They have to stop flirting now. It's 5 a.m. and the Lucy and Alexander have about four hours until their final exam, so they're just having breakfast and getting ready. It doesn't look like Alexander is going to make it on to the Dean's List again. Um, he will probably get a B, but he just couldn't get his body skill up high enough in time. He's too far behind, and I should probably have him do something other than run in place in front of the stereo, but I just find that hilarious to watch. <laughs> Lucy, she's going to pass with a C. She'll get a C. Um, she needs cooking and creativity, but she hasn't had the want to get any skills. She just wants to be friends with her professor, which she is. Oh, she wants to be best friends with her. But they're both going to pass, and that's all I really care about. Oh, wow, look at Jennifer's hair here. They're just going to do a little uh, early morning dancing before they have to go take their exams. We're at two hours until, and that's what they decided to do. It seems like they dance a lot more in university, and that's probably because there's stereos everywhere, and it gives them a lot of fun. Wow, Lucy's got some sweet moves there. Okay, Lucy has met all the requirements to become a junior. She finished the semester with a grade of C, and she got a grant of 400 simoleons. The registrar has automatically declared Lucy's major to be philosophy <laughs> because she never rolled the want to declare any other major, so that's fine. I don't think it really matters that much to her. Alexander got a C plus, and he got a grant of 500 simoleons. Oops. It's time to focus on only one area of study for graduation. Alexander can no longer change majors, and that's fine. He doesn't want to change majors. So now I'm just going to have them deposit their money into their bank accounts. Lucy needs to go deposit her 400. After she gets done listening to Alexander's super funny joke. Oops, don't start a co gaming competition. <laughs> deposit your money. <laughs> she has 1,500 simoleons right now, and when she gets this 400, she'll obviously have 1,900. Oh, Alexander wants to graduate. He's a senior. He only has 46 hours left until his final, final exam, and then he will be done with college. He still wants to get on the Dean's List. He has a GPA of 2.8. Okay, she's got her 1900 deposited, and now we'll have Alex deposit his 500 And I want to see how much money he has, too, because I don't remember. But he definitely... Oh, now he needs cleaning and logic. Logic will be easy for him to get on the chess table. Cleaning, I'll just have to have him study. I think he's really close to getting one cleaning point because he was cleaning the shower earlier. Okay, he's got 11200 in his bank account. He should have enough to buy a house. Plus, he's going to get a chunk of the goth uh, money, too, so he's going to be fine once he graduates. And he should be able to get a pretty good job with his degree. Lucy needs a lot of skills. She needs creativity and cooking, and she has no desire to get any of those. She just wants to watch movies and talk to her family. And do a bunch of dumb stuff like write novels and sell great novels. I guess I could have her write a novel. I don't know. What's her hobby? Her hobby's film and literature, so maybe it would make sense for her to write a novel. She's actually browsing the web for film and literature right now. Okay, Lucy, why don't you write a novel then? Stop browsing the web and do some work. Okay, so we're going to choose her plot elements. Let's see. Um, money. What else? Ghosts. Babies, of course. And aliens. And... I don't know. 
astronauts? <laughs> That's going to be an exciting book. What kind of book is it? Um, it'll be like a sci-fi since there's aliens in there. There's ghosts and aliens and babies and money and astronauts. She's going to write a sci-fi book. Oh, awesome. She's also getting creativity, which she needs uh, for her college progress from writing the novel. I never have my Sims write novels. I was like, wow, they get creativity for that? <laughs> I wish you could check the progress, and there's probably a way to do it. But at least she's getting creativity skill while she's doing it. I was just thinking, and I think it's pretty funny. Oh, she has to go to class now. It's pretty funny that Alexander got an A his first semester, and then as soon as Lucy moved in, his grades plummeted, and now he just gets C's. <laughs> He's distracted by her. She doesn't really care that much about school, I don't think. She just cares about her family. She wants to get married. And now she's into writing this novel. Well, Alexander is just about to get his much-needed logic skill point. Horace and Margie are fighting in the cafeteria again, and she kicks his butt, like, every time. You should just really leave her alone, Horace. Okay, Alexander got his... Oh, there they go again. <laughs> got his skill point. Um, now he needs to work on cleaning. He wants to influence someone to write his term paper and influence someone to do his assignment. That's a good idea. Let's have him influence this guy. Well, he has to get out his assignment first. Well, let's just influence him to do the term paper. Influence him to write my term paper. Let's see if he goes for it. Merle Davidson. Come on, buddy. Do my turn paper for me. You can have my friendship in return. Is he going to do it? Did he even ask him? I don't think he asked him. Because he did not get... Uh, his want fulfilled for that. Let's try it again. Or maybe he said no. Yes, you. I'd be honored to do your term paper, Alexander. No, I guess he's saying no. Alright, well, I guess I'll try again later. <laughs> That's not working out very well for him. Okay, so Lucy's awake now. She desperately needs to have fun and she wants to watch a movie. I'll send her over here to watch a drama. They have about 24 hours until their final exam, so they still have plenty of time. At this point, Lucy is not going to pass, but she still wants to write a novel. I'll lock that in, so she should be able to get another creativity point in the next 24 hours, and that will give her enough to pass. I'm sending Lucy downstairs to work on her novel. She's 37% done. So you can't see the percentage when you're working on it, only whenever you're not working on it. These two have not stopped fighting. They just continuously get into like knockdown, drag out fist fights. Aw, poor Horace is crying. Aw, Horace. There, she's gonna go attack him again. She hates him. I don't know what he's doing to her. All right, Alexander, you need to work on cleaning. There's some cleaning you can do up here. He can't go into the women's, but go clean this toilet. Jeez. Well, look at this dormy. He's like sitting in the shower floor doing his homework. <laughs> That's so gross. You're going to get athlete's foot on yourself. <laughs> Yay, Lucy got enough creativity to actually pass her, what is she, a junior? She's going to pass her junior year. She needs to go to class now, though. She actually has been doing pretty well. Um, sometimes family sims don't do so well because they don't really have any wants to get skills and things. But because she's wanted to write this novel, it's kept her creativity up. And because she's a philosophy major, she needs creativity. 
So it's all worked out well for her. Alexander, he's working really hard, but he still hasn't been able to make it onto the Dean's list. And he's trying. He really is. He was just behind in his skills. Um, he still needs three cleaning, and they have 17 hours until final exam, so we're going to try our best. Maybe we can get him a B, at least. And he just got back home from class, and he wants to earn... Oh, he wants to earn $5,000. Well... You can work in the cafeteria, but I don't think you're going to earn $5,000. <laughs> Alright, work in cafeteria. Get in here, Alex, and earn some money. It's not going to be close to 5000 but it'll be something. I don't think they have received any bills this semester. That's odd. Maybe I paid them already and I don't remember. He's trying to work, Michelle. Oh, wow. He thinks that Melinda McDaniel is hot. Okay, there he goes. Changing into his uniform. Okay, Alexander has graduated. Yay, he got a C plus in his senior year and he got an additional grant of 500 simoleons. Lucy met all the requirements to become a senior. She got a C plus and she was given a grant of 500 simoleons. So yay, now Alexander is done with college. He has his degree. I'm so happy for him. He technically has 72 hours until he must leave campus, but for my purposes, he has to leave campus before... Lucy finishes her senior year so that their ages stay the same because as of right now Alexander is 21 and Lucy is 20 years old. I'm going to have them deposit their money and then see what they want to do with Alex's remaining time here. Alexander decided that he wanted to hustle pool on his last day before he leaves university. Um, he asked Lucy to come with him to the student union but she had to go to class right away so she couldn't come. So he just came on his own. He's going to come play some pool, see if he can hustle somebody. Just checking out the dormies that showed up. All right, now don't go to the computer. Go to the pool table, and let's play some pool. Wow, good for you, Alexander. That was a, a, a decent shot, I guess. I saw some balls go into the pool. I know nothing about pool. All right, I don't know how to hustle anybody in pool either. Oh, look, okay, hustle him. Let's go hustle this guy for 25 bucks. I don't know what the hustling uh, entails. Okay, he didn't hustle. Oh, because this guy beat him to it. We're going to have to wait for one of them to leave or somebody else to join him. Hustle this guy. Rufus Greer. Rufus is about to get hustled. Okay, so one of my custom hairs definitely is not working because that should not be... She shouldn't have that hair. So, I don't know. I probably did something wrong. I'll have to check on that. I'm not sure how I feel about these custom hairs, guys. This one, like, doesn't even look right. I guess just because it's so blonde and his hair, his skin is so fair. <laughs> Maybe it's not that bad. I think this is, like, one of the first times I've ever, like, sat and actually watched them play a game of pool. It's really, actually, pretty neat. Alexander's not too bad. Come on, Rufus. So, I don't know. I guess if he loses, then Alexander gets the 25 bucks. I've, I've never hustled anybody in pool before, ever. Man, Rufus is about to win. Oh, he pointed out the pocket. There it goes. He wins. 
All right, he got 25 simoleons. He successfully hustled Rufus Greer. Good for you, Alex. Well, Alexander's time at college has come to an end. He wants to flirt with Lucy really quick, so I'm going to let him do that. And then we're going to call, and he is going to head back to Pleasant View. Lucy's very upset because she needs fun. We'll say goodbye. <laughs> All right, guys, come on. Oh, wow, the mascot's going to come cheer them on while they're making out. <laughs> Garbits. Okay, they're like, what are you doing, dude? Get out of here. Okay, I'm Lucy needs to have fun really bad, so I'm just going to have her go play a computer game really quick so that I can pay attention to Alex. He is moving back to Pleasant View. He, got, he had a final GPA of 2.8. It's not great, but it's not terrible. It's passing. Now that Alexander's graduated, it's time to move back to the home neighborhood. Yeah, yeah, I know all that. So, yes, we want to move him back. And I'm curious to see what he's going to age up into. Oh my gosh, it's not half bad. I mean, it's really not that bad at all. So he's got this layered t-shirt and jeans. Um, he's got like a chain wallet, which is kind of weird for him, but you know, he likes it. My default replacements are paying off, so that's what Alex is going to wear. That's what he wants to wear, and I'm going to let him keep it. Still haven't made up my mind about the hair. Oh my gosh, he wants to marry a rich sim. Oh jeez, Lucy's not rich. So what does that mean? He's already engaged to her though. I'm not going to lock that. We'll see if he still wants it once we get back to him. He's going to be disappointed that if he wants to marry a rich sim and he marries Lucy. Because she has no money. She's got like 2500 bucks. Well, Alex is gone, and now we just have to focus on Lucy for her final uh, year. She has 38 hours until her final senior exam. Right now, it doesn't look like she's going to pass. She needs charisma and cooking. Um, and she doesn't seem to want to do anything related to charisma or cooking. So let's cross our fingers that she gets some wants. I'll try to keep... Uh, fulfilling the wants that she does get in the hopes that she'll get the want to gain a skill point or something. And we'll have her work on her novel some more. Let's see. She is 83% done. Too bad she doesn't need creativity anymore. She's going to be maxed out by the time she finishes this novel. If she just gets the want to get one skill point, then we can get her a charisma skill and she will pass and she will graduate. Yay, she finished her book. What are we going to title it? We're going to name it Project Moonbase. A young doctor and her superior are sent to orbit the moon to survey landing sites for future lunar missions. Will they find love? Because she had babies in there too, so apparently they're going to make some babies in space. I don't know. She's done. She wrote a novel. She wrote a novel in college. That's pretty awesome for her. Good job, Lucy. And now she just wants to make a bunch of friends with her professor. She wants to be friends with Horace, so we could probably make that happen. Oh, and she's talking to Kevin on the phone. Aww. She's become really good friends with her little brother. So, the guy in the big truck has come to drop off her novel. <laughs> Go get your novel, Lucy. Accept delivery. It's 
it's like one o'clock in the morning and he's dropping off this novel. Lucy is off to her final exam for her senior year, but unfortunately she never rolled any wants to get any more skill points in charisma or cooking, um, or any skill points at all, so it doesn't look like she's going to pass. I don't think taking the final exam will give them any more progress. So she might have to repeat her senior year, and if that's the case, she will be here when Bo attends college. Lucy just got back from her final exam, and unfortunately she finished semester, the semester with a grade of a D. As a result, she has, she has been given no grant for the coming semester, and she is on academic probation. She gets one more chance to try to finish her, her senior year. She's really not too happy about that. She had a fear of failing. Um, so Lucy is now 21 years old, but she's going to have to stay in college an additional year until she's 22. So I'm going to end part two of this episode here. Aw, poor Lucy. <laughs> she's so upset. In part three will be our final part of this uh, Sim State University round. We are going to have Bo join Lucy in the dorms, and Lucy's going to try again to complete her senior year, and Bo is going to be starting new as a freshman, so join me for part three. I appreciate you watching this video. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and hit the notification bell if you want to know when I upload new videos. You can also visit my blog at PleasantSims.com if you're interested in the mods I use, my gameplay rules, my sim profiles, and family trees. Again, thanks for watching, and I will see you with part three very soon.